Hey everyone, Sean Clement here. And the age old question is, why are you still slicing? Well, for the vast majority of my students who come take lessons with me, when I show them this, they absolutely freak. They go, there's no way I would have ever gone there on my own. But once you've explained it to me, it really makes sense. And the slicing stops. You don't want to miss this show. Now, before we continue, of course, you want to subscribe to our channel because, you know, stuff like this is really something that you don't want to miss. And uh, leave us a comment or a question down below. I'm sure that uh, this will make your head spin when you see this video. And, um, you know, stay tuned. Coming very soon, we have this revolutionary new website that is going to change the way we search our information and when you get your information quickly and you're able to integrate it quickly, that's a big bonus. So stay tuned for that. It's called Retrieve. Okay, so we know that with the driver, we're going to put the ball on a tee and the ball is going to be in the air. And generally, we want to catch it on the way up because if we catch it on the way down, I only have eight degrees of loft on my driver if I'm hitting down on that, uh, on that ball, I'm not going to be left with a lot and it's not going to be very efficient for me. So you want to catch it on the upswing. So that's why we say, well, we're going to play it on the instep. There's the beginning of the conundrum. So now you're going to go face the ball and you think that this face, notice I start here, it looks pretty square. And then when I go to the ball, it looks closed. So many of you are going to go and open the club face up right out of the gate. Well, the problem is, is that when you're facing the ball, you can't hit it on the way up. You're actually going to go under the ball and do a pop fly. If I wanted to nail this ball into a door frame, I would want to catch it on the way up. So I'm going to put my face square. See this? This is what I see the, where the, I see the most of you. But then we're going to try and catch it on the way up. Oh boy, not good. That's wide open. Now the hands are going to come through first. Oh boy, that's really not good. That's off the planet. So what we want to do, imagine if I was hammering a nail into the ground. If I'm hammering a nail into the ground, it's going to look like this. And then when I hammer a nail toward the target into the door frame, then it's going to look like this. So notice now, yes, the club face is too closed because I'm at a perfect position for me to catch this on the way up. So now I'm just going to make my adjustment until I see it's square. See that? But when I go back to the ball, whoa, that's really closed, isn't it? You'd never see yourself set up with a face that closed. But we're going to catch the ball on the way up. So notice when I'm getting ready to catch the ball on the way up, well, my trail shoulder comes down, my lead shoulder comes up, my head tilts, and now I'm going to come and pin that ball up against that door frame. I can do that very successfully. That feels like the ball is going to get compressed in that direction. So this is not closed. This is dynamically square for the shot that I'm trying to hit. Now, if I was playing the ball down and teeing it down and I got the wind in the face and I want to just peel it off the ground like a fairway would, then I'm going to set up in a very different way. The club in the center ball forward, notice that's different. But then when I set up to catch it more on the way up, now that's open. So I need to close that a bit more. So the vast majority of you who are trying to catch this ball on the way up have nowhere near the closed face that you need to keep the ball in play. And of course, you know, 
we all want to keep the ball in play. We all want nice long drives. So we're looking at a nice launch with low spin. And, you know, if the face is closed enough, the, you know, the ball's going to stay in the direction that you want it to go on. So here we go. I've got a wonderfully tight fairway here. I'll show you one from behind in a second. I got my intermediate point right there. I'm getting ready to catch this on the way up to open. Close that a bit more. There we go. So you notice how I'm doing that? So I'm not doing this because that doesn't change anything in my swing. I need to let go of the club, close it, and then take it again. See how I did that? So now I feel like I can catch it on the way up. So gather, catch it on the way up. Hear that sound? That's the sound of a very compressed golf ball. And so there is no sliding off the face when it comes to those shots. So let's have a look from down the line so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so close the face, get ready to hammer up. Notice how my shoulders, hips, and knees are now in a position to catch it on the way up, okay? If I face the ball, notice how my shoulders, my hips, and my knees are wide open, even though my stance looks a little closed here. So that's going to brush it that way, and then I'll have a tendency to slice it back in that direction. So what we're looking for is a face that's closed enough so when I send my shot out toward the center, I'm trying to draw it back to the left center right here. So I'm aiming there. Close the face enough, get into a position where I feel like I can catch the ball on the way up. And there we go. So now I'm just going to send the tip of this tee to the right edge of that intermediate point in that direction. That ball started off to the right and it's drawing back beautifully to the left center of the fairway. That ended up right there between those trees. So that's where I want it to go. So if the face of the club is too open, I can't go in that direction. So now I'm gonna to have to do some fancy bowing of the wrists maybe bring the body around so that I start the ball more to the left so I don't lose my ball in the trees out to the right. So if the face of the club is closed enough, now I can swing from in to out. There's no way that you could do that if the face is too open. See where we're going? So I hope you enjoyed this very simple visual tip on how to get your club face squared up and then take a look at all our other videos on the driver. Go, just go driver Sean Clement and really dig in. There's some beautiful videos on the driver there for you. And our premium channel has some sublime videos on our di you know, diagonal stance. Ben Hogan's secret with the driver, this slightly closed stance is what allows him to stay in the direction that he wants to start the ball with the driver because the ball is more forward and you need support with that lead leg in order to get, you know, to catch that ball, you know, solidly in the center of the face in the direction that you want to go. Okay. So hope you, go, you guys enjoy and have a great week. All the best.